This does not the end. This is only the beginning. This crisis has just begun, and we are only in round 3 of a 12 round main event. How massive can the crisis eventually get? Dunno, but it's gonna get worse before it gets worse. The darkest hour is just before it turns completely pitch black. Wait till this crisis reaches its climax, i.e., the complete collapse of all the world markets by orders of the international banksters. A powerful statement, but in my opinion, the Federal Reserve, acting by orders of their international banking bosses, will continue to keep these markets artificially propped perhaps for another couple months before they decide to pull the plug, which will cause the greatest crash in the history of mankind. Right now, they are saving the best for last. And when they do pull the plug, then will we see real panic. They don't want to spoil the whole show just yet. More government spending needs to take place, and more economic damage needs to be done before they give the order to pull it. And they know they have plenty of time before the command is given since they know how to plan and execute their agendas. The goal, in my opinion, is to completely bankrupt our US government and our economy. And the target is the US dollar. The dollar will still have value. We will just be broke. The international bankers will then offer their new world currency as the solution to the resulting upcoming worldwide financial upheaval. Their desire is to replace the US dollar, which is in the control of our US government, with their new, international currency, owned and controlled instead by the international bankers. I find it hard to believe that they are going to let this engineered crisis pass without achieving this goal. The international bankers will then have complete control of the world of finance. A complete takeover of this world by way of the financial system. Mission accomplished. I am just wondering how long can an over-leveraged debt-driven economy survive a 35% drop in global GDP without a total collapse in some sort of Zimbabwe style. My estimate is 3 months, but then my estimate is also that the world will go in and out of lockdowns for at least 6-12 to 12 months. When this bailout money is burned through. Which is going to be quicker than anyone thought. We now have close to 8 billion humans walking the planet, looking to support themselves and their families while lockdowns, automation, and globalization takes away their jobs. They are now facing the greatest wage disparity in history. High unemployment because the government's Bureau of Labor Statistics keeps fudging and lying about the real unemployment numbers, which, if they were truthful, would be in the 20-24% unemployment range according to John Williams of Shadowstat.com, and that's way, way before the coronavirus hit. The Bureau of Labor Statistics, according to Mr. John Williams, has been fudging and lying since 2009 so as not to scare the masses, and according to Williams, the real inflation rate has been in the 10-12% since 2009. I tend to believe that based on rising prices and product and package shrinkage. Trends Journal founder Gerald Salente who likes to call it as it is is now calling it the greatest depression. The financial media doesn't acknowledge that our shale oil boom will go bust because the shale oil sector doesn't make any money. Unfortunately, mainstream media has really little choice of putting out a positive news spin because if they did not, the masses would be frightened and revolt. We are now facing, and the odds keep growing that we might enter another Great Depression, and if we do, it will make 1929 seem and feel like good times. So in a sarcastic way, can we blame them for putting a positive spin on current events? We are repeating the same thing we just saw in 2008, 2009. The too big to fail saved from the debt man's noose. While sheep peasant citizen was packing their belongings into the trunk, house gone, job gone. 1. The banks and hedge funds and private equity funds have been saved. They are the ones buying the market up. 2. Small business is going to get crushed. 3. The gig economy and commission sales are going to get crushed. 4. Employees are going to get crushed. 5. Nancy and Chucky are taking this opportunity to run coup part 1. 6. HRC and Cuomo and Biden are up to no good, if they lose, they are going to run coup part 2. 7. The Democrats mean to run the clock down until November. 8. The Renos will continue to rob banks until there is nothing left to steal, they are going to strip mine the country the way the Bolshevists did the Soviet Union. Actions. 1. Prepare for this house arrest to continue for many months. 2. Prepare for a violent election season. 3. Prepare for a civil war after the losing team refuses to accept in November. 4. Prepare for massive economic dislocation. 
5. Prepare for massive supply chain dislocation. If we are expecting the people who created this crisis to solve it, then we richly deserve the calamitous outcome. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. 10 million Americans declared unemployment in two weeks, and all your government does is give you a $1,200 advance on your tax return while bailing out corporations with the largest wealth transfer ever, and some of you are still shrieking about Russia and China. Your rights are evaporating. Your government has failed to provide the bare minimum social safety nets during a very manageable pandemic. Your nation's billionaire class has been growing wealthier and wealthier while most of you would struggle to pay a $1,000 emergency bill. The peasant sheep need to realize you are watching a magic show. They need to pump enough money into the stock market to give the vast majority of people the illusion that their savings money are secure. When in fact that it's not. These large funds which are being supported also have large exposure to mortgage-backed securities and commercial property loans that will be going bad. The magician has gone all chips in betting that at the right moment, they can release the peasant sheep, and the economy will fire right back up. Then when sheep peasant is again dumping payroll money into the market, they can slowly liquidate their positions. Where I believe they have made an error is they look at people and society through their ivory tower lens. People will get out, but their spending isn't going to come back to what the magicians are anticipating, by a long shot. That's what's going to break this damn bubble. George Carlin once said, it's a big club and you ain't in it. But there's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason for this, there is a reason education sucks, and it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never gonna get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now, the real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls, they got the judges in their back pockets, and they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying, to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else, but I'll tell you what they don't want, they don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interests. That's right. They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around a kitchen table to figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 damn years ago. They don't want that. Do you know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork, and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it, and now they're coming for your social security money. They want your retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street, and you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you, sooner or later, cause they own this damn place. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club. And by the way, it's the same big club they use to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long beating you over the head in their media telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted folks. The game is rigged, and nobody seems to notice, nobody seems to care. Good honest, hard-working people, white collar, blue collar, it doesn't matter what color shirt you have on, good honest, hard-working people continue, these are people of modest means, continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a damn about them. They don't give a damn about you. They don't give a damn about you. They don't care about you at all, at all, at all. And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. That's what the owners count on, the fact that Americans will probably remain willfully ignorant of the big red, white and blue flag that's being jammed up their assholes every day. Because the owners of this country know the truth, it's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. George Carlin
It is clear the looting and wars go on. Even in this event. They will not nationalize the banks though public by bailout owns them. They will not nationalize the medical, for profit over human life scam. They will not nationalize the big companies at the trough again, they bought their stocks back to inflate prices. They will not open the office of monopoly, racketeering, and union busting. They will not bring back the Glass-Steagall Act. It is one corrupt system, for the victors 1%, everything, for the vanquished the people nothing. Unless they are told to go f their greedy asses. This was the Atlantis report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy.